Right, we're at Snape Maltings. Come to do a bit of bird washing. Apparently, there's an RSPB place around here. Don't follow your sat nav. Put Snape Maltings in. Don't put the Snape RSPB place in because we've just been led a merry trip around all the little back lanes and Suffolk Council, pull your finger out. The roads around here are absolutely atrocious. So it's Snape Maltings today, which is like a bit of a shopping place. And apparently there's a bird watching centre around here, as I said. So we're going to have a look around. I looked online and it's supposed to be dog friendly. However, there's a few little comments saying and complaining that it's not dog friendly. So we've come here just to see what it's like. But so far, first impressions, it looks all right. There's a map over there. I'll take you over there and show you what's here, shall I? So this is where we are. There's the map. It's Raven Mining. And these are the shops you've got here. So I'm just going to have a little walk around. There's places to eat here, cafes and bars and craft shops. So if someone's happy, I'll show you what's here, shall I? There's plenty of parking here. There's an old TP look. Blimey now, it's been a long time since I've been in one of those. And there's a lot of reed beds around here. So, maybe bearded tits, reed buntings, etc. We shall find out. There's a little cafe there. So I've just spotted this walk along the broads here, on this river. I think we're going to go and have a go at that. In a bit. But I'm going to go and check out the shops. And have a bite to eat, I think. Over there, river trips. So we can have a little poodle down the river on a boat. And then all these little units are all shops. And this here, right in front of us, is an art place and also a concert hall. Pretty magnificent place, isn't it? Big old boat there, can have a look at that. So first shop, there's a craft shop, and you can take dogs in there. So that's the first bonus. So in this craft shop, it's stunning in here. I'll show you about, but just had a word with a young lady and she said the craft shops, etc. on the way out around are dog friendly. However, the main building where there's sofas and furniture and stuff, it's not dog friendly, which is understandable. So I'll give you a quick view around this little craft shop, but it's got some lovely stuff in here. I'll show you.
recycled paper. Look at this. Placemats. Maybe we'll give it a go. <laughs> And bag and rings. Nice little shop that. And a very nice lady in there too. Explained a bit about the, what's going on around here. So we shall continue our walk. And there's your river trip. Oh, and they're dog friendly. Might have a go at one of those. That was well cool. Dogs, you welcome, mate. in with the dog but apparently the big place yep 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 apparently the big place you can either you can walk around it but you've got to carry your dog but, uh, I won't be carrying Raven so Sammy might have to stand outside for that one and so far so good Day today, so we've just gone and looked in this building next to the cafe, and there's sort of an art shop we've just seen in there, and like a little crafty shop in the delicatessen. It's a bit lumpy in the deli. Little tray of sliced looks like Italian ham, six quid, about ten slices. <sighs> lumpy. So this big building here, I don't think you're allowed in with a dog, unless you carry them. So we're gonna go and have a look in here.
is flipping massive in here. And no, I don't think you bring dogs in here. The lady was saying you've got sofas and tables and homeware everywhere, so... <laughs> no one wants to buy one with a dog wee up the side of it. But... It's huge in here. Absolutely huge. Really interesting musical instruments in here. Sammy's in there having a look. Harps, lutes, all different types of whistles and all sorts of gear in there. It's pucker. So there you go. It's a good use of a telephone box. It's where your defib is. It's just near to the entrance where the boat in place is. But yeah. Now this dog, the music shop, is not dog friendly, so I'm going to go and have a look in here. So we just went into that Riverview cafe and bar. It's not dog friendly and they're not serving food outside. Why? plenty of staff there you go lost customer so we're gonna go and have a little bit of food in the cafe around the corner and then we're gonna have a walk up the broads just speaking to a, an old local an old gentleman and he said that one September the tide come right up here right up the top here all that lot was underwater It's in real, isn't it? But anyway, back we go to the cafe. So just stop for a spot of lunch. sammy has got the pea, mint, and cauliflower soup. Broccoli. Broccoli. The ginger beer. Strawberry and rhubarb. And I've got a falafel, falafel, falafel salad. Oh. Raven's got some cheesy poochie bones. Sammy's just gone to use the ladies. But it's a huge car park here, so as you can see over there, there's a motorhome parked. So you can park up here in your motorhome, obviously not overnight, but it's somewhere where you could come for the day out. 
if you're in one of the campsites around this area and have a nice walk so we're just going to have a walk down onto this little brawls bit now and see what's over there Look, wants to make his mind up today this weather it's been overcast one minute sunny the next right. let's go and have a look see what we can see over here from Shot of Wildlife was telling me about this. They put one down there and it floated away. So what they did was sponsor the ball so people could contribute and everyone sponsored a board on the ball walk. And there you go. So there's everyone's names being engraved on the balls. Well cool. Good idea. that's that that's that then we're back at Gladys and I'm going to do some lollipop drumsticks lollipop chicken drumsticks I did say I was going to show you how to do it so I'm going to show you how to do it right now I'll flip you around and show you what I'm going to do so we've got our drumsticks and for this I use a small paring knife nice and sharp so, let's show you how to do this. I'll take out chopping board. Now, we want to leave the skin on for these. I'm going to marinate these in this bowl. And I'm going to do them my way. There's a song there. So, what I'm going to do is, just around the top of the knuckle. Now, I'm going to leave the knuckle on, on this. This bit of gristle. Because Sammy likes gnawing at the gristly bits. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to cut round... The gristly bits okay you can do this on a chopping board on the bone so you go through so you need a sharp knife you cut for all the tendons and the skin and that's important you have to make sure all that's cut through okay so you just scrape down lightly just make sure all those tendons are cut If you scrape down like that you can see if you've got any left and then you can cut through them okay take your time on this one I'm showing you there we go right so we've cut through all that meat and we're now a little bit of a tendon there let's get through that and we're now down to the bone Okay, like that so. Then, put your fingers around it, tap down onto the bolt. Right. And that 
pushes all your chicken up there into a ball like so and shows the bone now as I say you can cut these parts off if you want to just by cutting around there and it will just leave the end of the bone sticking out like that okay but we're going to push that down like this what happens then is we're going to put them in a bowl and marinate them and that rather than drying out like a drumstick can we've got a nice blob of meat there with a skin around the outside of it and we're going to put them in the air fryer and cook them in the air fryer you can do them in a the barbecue you can do them in the oven however you want to do them but i like to do them in the air fryer and then once i've done them all we're going to put some oil on them put some seasoning on them okay whatever seasoning you like or you can marinate them put barbecue sauce on whatever you like do that and then that meat contracts on that bone and it looks like a little lollipop you have to use your imagination right so I'll just do one more so again take your drumstick cut through all the tendons watching your fingers all the time the last thing you want to do is get a cut while you're cutting through raw chicken okay get one that down like that again like so and then push down. Now you have to be careful because inside there is the little bone. Just let me show you. Is that little bone now that's actually in the chicken drumstick? So if you push down on there and you push down in the wrong place, you'll end up with that sticking in your finger, and you don't want that. So you just have to be a bit careful. So that's just snapped off there. Okay. And there's another one keeps the chicken nice and juicy because you've got a nice lump of chicken there and if you like, like gnawing on the gristly bits like Sam, uh, Sammy does you've got the gristly bits right now let's get the rest of these done I'll get some seasoning on them and I'll get them in the air fryer and show you the results right so the chicken's done I've probed my chicken and it says 170 and the bacteria in chicken dies at 163 to 165. So that's all good. And I don't like my chicken to... I like my chicken nice and... Uh, not dry, but well cooked, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to get it out of here. And I'll show you one. There we go. Let's put them on a plate. And then... I... I'm going to munch it. Because it looks very nice. Let's spin you around and show you. There we go. Lollipop chicken. You can see how it retracts from the bone. And the heat travels up the bone as well. So it cooks it better. So I'm going to cover that now. And let that rest. And cool down a bit. Oh, look at that. Lollipop chicken. Anyway. Hope you liked that little video and our little excursion today and a bit of cooking. Tomorrow we're off somewhere else. Still in Suffolk, but just down the road, about half an hour away. Managed to get on somewhere for the weekend because the weekends are quite busy up here. So we're going to go and check this next site out and I'll show you when we get there. So you stay safe, stay sane, look after yourselves and each other. Loads of love to you all. Catch you later. Bye.